Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to play OpenGL games if your GPU doesn't support OpenGL because maybe it doesn't support the correct version that the game needs, it just supports an older version or it doesn't support it at all or it did but you upgrade to a new operating system and the driver for your GPU on that operating system doesn't support OpenGL at all anymore or just a really old version. You are going to go on this website from this person or whatever and to find this you can just enter method 3d for windows and then it will be the first search result it turns the opengl rendering into software rendering which is basically your cpu does most of the stuff but if the game isn't like super new if it's like an older game you want to enjoy and your cpu is not really bad then this should not be a problem and i mean like really brief <laughs> so yeah we scroll down here, there we can download it, if you're on Windows 7 or 8 here, you download it, and then you get a zip folder which you extract, which I already did, right click and extract. Here for example is a game that needs OpenGL, it's called Metal Slug Defense, which a lot of people don't like, but I actually like it. and. If I try to start it, this will happen. OpenGL 1.3 not supported. Great. Now we are in the normal folder because we already extracted it. Well, I did. And we're going to drag and drop all copy and paste, which is better, this file into the games folder. Well, we are in the games folder now, and now we're just going to right click and paste it. Now the file is in our games folder and now we can try to start a game. The file is called OpenGL but it's not real OpenGL as we know. So let's see if that works now, shall we? And as we see it works, I'm in the game, the game is open. So yeah, pretty easy. I hope this was helpful because back in the day I needed that because I didn't know this existed. <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah, it's a pretty easy process to make the thing work. Download link will be in the description, so you can just directly click it and download it and put it into your game folder and see if it works. If your PC can handle it and if the game supports it. But yeah, this is a good solution, I think. Uh, so yeah, this was it. Peace out. And there is sound, I just turned it off. <laughs>